So I'm here at the activities fair and here you have the job fair and the rest of the fair is up there so I'm headed there now. So here we are at the top of the activities fair and there's so much going on way down there You can see other clubs, but this is just the top, and this is where it starts. Okay. There's more of them. Okay, so like there's a bunch of rows and the clubs are on each side of the row, but it's freaking hell to get through them. So it takes me forever, but like I've had, I've like I've gotten so many fires right now. It's just insane. Like I don't even know. There's so many things going on. You, I'm, I'm literally signing up for everything and it's so crazy. So like this looks like the end of the fair but it's so not there's so many more booths like over on that so I found all the sororities the the frats are all around too but I'm not necessarily planning on joining one but it's cool to see all of them in one place they're also really expensive so that's another reason why I'm not joining maybe next year if I have the money but Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and today I want to talk about the UCLA Activities Fair which is when all the clubs and organizations at UCLA come together in one spot and just advertise their club and there's a bunch of signups and it was honestly super packed like every all of the clubs were in a bunch of rows and just squeezing in from row to row was such hell because people were standing around and not moving but it's totally fine well now usually like when people stop and don't move like I get mad but it was fine now because they would stop and talk to other representatives it was really fun I'd say that it's something I was super excited to do here at UCLA just because you always see it in the movies and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to sign up for everything. And definitely, I feel like I'm going to sign up for a lot more clubs than I was expecting. I was going to do like two or three, but there's so many interesting ones that there's, I mean, there's even like clubs that you'd never expect to see like there's a rowing club and an archery club and they're actually giving like free lessons so that's that's really big a couple of the clubs I'm interested in joining now is the Daily Bruin which is the newspaper here on campus I'm thinking about doing the video section so I've already started my application there I'm also thinking about joining UCLA radio that one also requires an application. Most of them don't require an application, but for the ones that are a lot more serious, not not saying that, you know, some aren't serious, but like for the ones that you actually have to participate and have a schedule and a plan and regularly meet, then they do require an application. And for the radio and the Daily Bruin, they are pretty long, but it's nothing you can't do if you don't sit down and really focus. Okay, so I come from a performing arts high school, and I'm, I was in the theater academy, so I love theater more than really anything, more than my major, but don't tell anyone. I'm majoring in political science. So I was looking around, and I saw like a couple theater companies. One of them is the L... 
the LCC Theater. I don't know if you could see that, but um, I'll leave the description in the in the information section below. Um, so this is one of the theater companies that are, that that are here, and then there's this Shakespeare Company at UCLA. And that one seemed interesting. I wasn't super interested in Shakespeare before, like in ninth grade when they made us read Romeo and Juliet because I was just reading it and I did not know what they were saying and I was just on spark notes all the time. But I get it now because I started reading more and more plays and they just got easier and easier and I didn't find myself looking at spark notes anymore. So that was pretty fun. And there's also the the biggest pretty the biggest club for theater it's a theater company it's called hooligan theater company and they produce uh, really big shows right now this quarter they're doing pippin and auditions are next week i believe i don't know if i'm gonna audition for that but we'll see because i i love musical theater but i'm not the best singer and pippin does require because it's a musical so it requires singing but a lot of dancing too because so I don't know. I might do, I might not. Another thing I wanted to talk about was the sororities and fraternities here. I wasn't thinking about joining any of them, but then again, at the activity sphere, I saw that there were professional sororities, so that they'll be like, oh, like a pre-med sorority or a fraternity or whatever, you know? So they're, they're not social sororities and fraternities. They were just professional and focusing on like a specific thing and one of them which was insane it's called Delta Kappa Alpha and it's a cinematic arts fraternity and that's like insane because it's for like filmmakers and I didn't know people could have that like it says UCLA's one and only so that's insane like I'm gonna I, I'm definitely going to look into this probably rush so they have their events it says that Thursday and Friday, so we're, I guess this Thursday and this Friday, today's Tuesday by the way, if you guys were wondering, yeah, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna go to those and see how it goes. I don't have a lot of experience with television and film or just film in general, but I think it's gonna be a good experience. Another one that I saw was Delta Sigma Pi, which is a business fraternity, and when I say fraternity, I don't mean that it's all boys. These are co-ed, so girls and boys can join, which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm not a business major either, so, like, you could ask why am I joining these two if I'm not, like, a major in either of those. But I think, I don't know, I'm interested in business and film, and I'm interested in a lot of things, really. So I'm just trying to branch out there to see how it goes. So I'm going to pick one of the two because I can't be in both. Or can I? I don't know. But uh, I'm going to try both, see which one I like best, and who knows, I might end up being in one. I don't think they have their own house, so it's not like I would be living there anyway. Um, and if you were wondering about fraternities and sororities, there was definitely a lot there. Today is the first day of Rush, and I believe that's happening later on tonight. I wasn't really planning on joining one. Mostly because they're really expensive, and one of my friends was telling me that they're very time-consuming, and I don't know. I mean, if I were joining one, it would probably only be to network, but you can network all the time in, like, any other place, so there's that. I also wanted to say regarding sororities, all of them were pretty much in one space, and as you were walking up to the activity sphere, they would hand out flyers, but I don't know, it just felt kind of like they sounded really shady because as I was walking, they would look at me, but none of them would approach me. And then if there was someone in front of me or someone in back of me that was, I don't know, like fit and pretty and just like the typical sorority girl that you would see, they would approach her and hand her a flyer. So I just felt kind of like... I don't know, I was a little irritated, but then again, I don't want to join a sorority, so it's not, I mean, I'm not, 
too mad about that, but still, like, you can kind of tell, like, they're looking for um, a beach blonde or someone that's just beautiful on the outside. Maybe not on the inside, but, you know, like, I don't know. So, just a heads up, you know, maybe if you look a lot different than me in the way that matches the sorority style, they'll probably approach you. If not, don't feel too bad. That's just them, you know. Another thing that I want to talk about was, okay, so during the summer, I looked up a bunch of YouTube videos about UCLA because I wanted to know, like, what it was like and everything, and there was this guy, there's this one video on YouTube about this guy who describes the, like, all the housing options. He describes, like, what they look like and how they are. Like, he'll be like, oh, Hedrick Hall has triples and doubles and it has communal bathrooms. Or he'll be like oh, you know, the plazas look like this. And so I saw him today, and I was like, oh my goodness, you're the one who made that video on, like, the living styles and everything. And he was like, oh yeah, that's me. And the friend that was next to her was like, next to him, said, oh yeah, people have been coming to, up to him all day, and he's practically famous. He's not really famous, but, like, his video got around, and so a lot of people saw it. And then there's this other girl who does a lot of vlogs, about her days in UCLA, and so I saw her too. I saw a bunch of girls taking a picture with her, and so I was like, oh, who's that? And then I realized, oh, I watch her vlogs too. So I was like, hey, thank you so much for doing your videos. They're really helpful. You know, they helped me, like, navigate through UCLA and all that. And so I just thanked her, and she said, oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. And so that was that. I'll actually link their two YouTube channels down below so you can see it. And, you know, if you like it, you can subscribe to them or whatever. Well, I hope you liked my video and all the footage that I took of the activities fair. It was such a great fair. I'm so glad. I, I probably spent, like, three hours there, like, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, it was so fun. And look forward to it next year if you end up coming to UCLA or if you're already here and you just wanted to, like, see some footage. You know, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, um, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.